To help Ukraine defend itself against the Russian offensive, Joe Biden is pulling out all the stops. On Thursday, the U.S. president asked Congress for an additional $33 billion in aid, equating to 31.4 billion euros. And the cost of this fight uh, is not cheap, but caving to aggression is going to be more costly if we allow it to happen. We either back Ukrainian people as they defend their country, or we stand by as the Russians continue their atrocities and aggression in Ukraine. The latest package would include more than 19 billion euros in military assistance, 8 billion euros in economic aid, and 3 billion euros in humanitarian and food aid. Colossal sums, which have allowed the United States to assert its influence as Kyiv's principal support. This is a very important step by the United States, and I'm grateful to the American people and personally to President Biden for it. I hope the Congress will quickly support this request to help our state. Since the start of the Russian invasion, Washington has already provided more than 7.6 billion euros in aid to Ukraine. France sits fifth in terms of contributions, with 416 million euros. The total European support of member states and institutions of the EU, meanwhile, amounts to 6.9 billion euros. The US, for its part, is preparing for a long war. With its new budget extension, the White House is therefore seeking to obtain enough funding to support the Ukrainian resistance until October. But the bill could stumble in Congress over disagreements between Democrats and Republicans. The Democratic Party wants to include an increase in the budget aimed at tackling COVID-19, a measure that the Republicans refuse.